In today's episode of The Joy of Editing, we'll be putting the very compressed AI model to the test. This model, touted by Topaz as the optimal choice for scanned photographs, is not one I frequently use. Notably, it's not available in Photo AI, but can be found exclusively in Gigapixel AI. Let's dive in. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I have two different scanned images today. These are two of my images. I have this image of a hummingbird as well as this image of some strawberries against a white background. I printed out these images on an Epson P800 printer, just in case you were wondering. And I used a very inexpensive scanner to scan these. It was an HP DeskJet 2700 printer. Very inexpensive, under $140, I believe. It's a wireless inkjet printer and scanner. If you've recently watched my upscaling comparison video between Topaz Photo AI and Gigapixel AI, I explained there that I hardly ever use the very compressed or lines model. Today, I want to test out the very compressed model because if I hover over the information here, you'll notice it says very compressed for images with a lot of compression artifacts and best with scanned photos and old digital photos. So I figured I'd test it out on some scanned photos off a pretty inexpensive printer scanner. If you haven't yet seen that upscaling comparison video, I'll link it at the end of this video. Right now you're seeing this image full size, no processing on it whatsoever. So let me go ahead and click on this button right here and this will give us a side by side view. And now we're seeing on the left is the original, on the right is the standard version 2 model, which by the way, Topaz Gigapixel has chosen for me when I click on this toggle here for auto settings. And let's go ahead and zoom in to say like 100%. Well, let's no, that's not enough. Let's go into 200%. And by the way, I am not upscaling here. I have this on 1x. If you just want to enhance an image and not upscale it, just click 1x and you will not be upscaling, just enhancing. Okay, so now on the left again is the original image. On the right is the enhanced image and that's with standard version two. And of course you can adjust these different sliders down here, but I'm not gonna mess with that today. But I just wanna show you, this is standard version two. We're gonna eventually work our way down to very compressed. So that's standard version two. And I think where you can really see some difference here is on these leaves. Like compare these leaves to these leaves. And that's not doing a great job, I don't think. It almost looks like the original image there. Now let's try high fidelity. And this is high fidelity version 2. I don't know. It, it may be a little bit better. What do you think? And now let's go to low resolution. Okay, now low resolution definitely looks better. If you compare this leaf right here to this leaf, there's a little more detail here and also on the strawberries themselves. And now let's go down to very compressed. And this is the model that Topaz recommend. Again, if you hover over the information, very compressed, it tells you this is what they recommend for scanned photos. Okay, so now here if we look, look at the detail in here. See this right in here? Like look over on the left here, we don't see that detail. And even the strawberry in here looks so much better. And we could go ahead and scan around and take a look here. Like look at all these leaves and the strawberries. Lots of really good detail coming out here. So I do agree, at least on this image right here, that very compressed is the model for this particular image. Now you do not have this in Topaz Photo AI. And hopefully Topaz, if you're listening out there, why don't you have it in Topaz Photo AI? Because you have it here in Gigapixel, why can't we get it in Photo AI? If you own Topaz Gigapixel and you like to work with scanned photographs, definitely give Very Compressed a try. I think it's doing a fantastic job. I also tried lines out in Standard Fidelity 1 and High Fidelity 1 and definitely not as good. Very Compressed, take my word for it here, it's the best model to use if you want to do a scanned photo. And now let's check out this final image, the hummingbird image. Again, another scan, and you can see there's a little hair right there. Well, I could fix that in Photoshop later. And there's some little piece of debris right here, and there's a little dust right there. 
definitely a scanned image so and as you can see now the photograph doesn't look grainy like this i gotta guarantee you that it doesn't look like that whatsoever and also i need to point out this is the original image right out of the scanner there's no enhancing on it and again i'm at 1x and this image is 30 22 by 1939 pixels the strawberries image was 2463 by 2400 pixels and as you can see 1x upscaling which is no upscaling now the reason we're only seeing the original unenhanced image is because i clicked on show original now i'll click this again and now we can see the enhanced version and gigapixel has chosen low resolution all right so now let's do the same thing let me click this button to give us a side by side view and now let's go ahead and zoom into 200% again. And we'll look, we'll look at the hummingbird first, right around this area here. Okay, and there's our result there with the model they recommended. Okay, so that's low resolution. And for my tests, I'm leaving settings on auto settings. So let's start out here. You see low resolution, and it's okay. It's, you can see a lot of graininess in here too and i did play with the minor denoise i took it the whole way up and i still had grainy look in here so it didn't really improve it let's look at the flower over here and see what it does you know and it looks okay but the image on the left is the original unenhanced the image on the right is enhanced it's okay but there's a grain and stuff in here but you can see there's that little debris on there there you can see it over here too but super grainy over here but let's go back over to the hummingbird. Now let me come up here to standard version two. Let's see what it does. This is standard version two. And again, I play with the sliders, but it's okay. But you can see there's still that grain in there. Now let's check out high fidelity version two. I don't know, not much of an improvement. Actually, I think there's more grain here. And now let's go down and try very compressed. Okay, now look at that. That looks really, really good. Now let's look around the hummingbird here. And I'm really happy with that. It has totally gotten rid of the grain. Now if we come over into here, now you can see some of that debris on there. It's a little funky right here and right here. But we'll see if we can adjust some sliders and take care of that. The flower looks really good over here. And again, compare the image on the left unenhanced to the image on the right enhanced and so right in here there's a little bit of an issue here let me see if i could take the denoise and take it up further and see if i can get rid of that yeah that's gotten a little bit better it's not perfect let me go more let me take it the whole way to 100 percent. at 100 percent, i pretty much get rid of that so that's pretty good now again if you want to see the auto settings click this button here let me just see if I pull back on the deep blur if I can get rid of that. I'm taking it the whole way off. Now, it's still there. So I'm going to click this button to get us back to the auto settings. And I'll take the denoise button and drag it to the right. Let's take it up to 100%. And now let's go out to zoom to fit. And let's go back to single image view by clicking right here. Okay, so there it is. Now you can see I have this hair here and there's some debris here. I'd have to get rid of that in Photoshop. But let me just left click and hold. Here's the before and here is the after. So for scanned photographs, I'm getting really great results with Very Compressed. If you have Gigapixel AI, give Very Compressed a try for scanned photographs. Well, there it is, everyone. The Very Compressed AI model in Gigapixel is great. I hope they bring this over to Topaz Photo AI. And also try this very compressed model on some old digital photos that you've taken with an old digital camera and see if this helps improve those. I think it will. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon, and also click all so that you'll receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. Well, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today on The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. And I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.